Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is like the first vlog of the year. Yeah, so yeah, excited. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because honestly this year I, I decided I'm gonna be a bit more consistent with like content creation and all that. So yeah, I'm trying to do both vlogs and styling videos. Oh, I'm, I'm blubbering. I haven't even introduced myself for the new ones. They'll go there. <laughs> yes, I'm Sharon. I'm a designer and a content creator. And I've decided I'm just not going to be calling myself a jewelry designer, guys, because I have plans this year. I'm trying to expand more into like clothing and all this. So yes, I'm now just a designer. Jewelry designer. I do jewelry for now, but I'm going to be expanding. So a designer and a content creator. For the new ones, thank you for coming. And please don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, and today I actually wanted to do a story time on how I started my fashion brand. But I'm going to be doing this while I'm arranging my shoes probably decluttering and arranging so the thing is i'm such an impulse buyer like i have a problem i know that i literally have a problem with like buying stuff sometimes i don't need so i have bought i feel like i've bought a couple of shoes like over the years which i have not even worn honestly so i need to do like a whole i need to re i need to arrange them because they're literally under my bed and I feel like I'm ruining them because I, some shoes are really nice so let me let's just like declutter or arrange the shoes while I give you guys like a story time on how I started my brand okay so I have a lot of shit here mainly because I have a lot of materials so like in my bedroom is super small so I can't like this it's hard to arrange stuff so my my stuff i have a lot of materials here so let me just like remove what i need to remove and then get all the shoes out probably also need to arrange them because what am i doing what am i doing oh, let me remove them everything man there's something like they're so messy like look at this like, what am i doing like what am i thinking <laughs> oh my god that is so uh, that is so wrong yeah let me like get something that i can actually just get the dust off while i'm arranging them anyway as i'm arranging here I don't know if I should do like the arrangement first and then we do like the story time. Huh. So it's hard to multitask as sort of like do this while I'm talking. So let me just like arrange here first. So when I'm doing the shoes on the other corner, we can just like talk about like the whole starting a fashion brand. Yeah, I think that works best. <laughs> going nowhere lately it's time to start all over and go for it cause they don't even they don't even know me yet but that's something i don't regret every night i close my eyes and see only lavender dreams baby what can i do when i'm in like a whole decluttering of the whole space first let me just like show you okay so i just did it i threw away all the extra trash 
So let me just click. Hey, Bubba, Bubba, David. Okay. Huh, awesome. So I don't know if how I'm gonna do this. I want. Let me just like tilt the camera just a bit. Awesome. Okay. So you can see like the whole bunch of shoes I have here now. Oh wow, it's a baby again. May I do this, please? So let me just put it very blue. So I have a printer and I'm thinking I should put it right back there. Okay, because I never I never pull the whole thing out so I can put the printer there so, and then I can put the shoes over here. So look at this. I got this a couple of years ago. I got this from back end. My lighting is bad, I'm sorry, but yeah. Anyway, so I got this from look at those. Like I've had this for around I don't know three, four years. I've worn them once. Literally. It's just stones. Okay. Have these other ones. I've had this for about like five years. I think I just over five years i think i just got bored with them i get like bored so easily i don't know why but i just do so i also got this don't know if my camera is not focusing let me click on that and focus yeah so i got this uh three years ago i think i've literally worn them on a shoot so i've never really worn them going anywhere never like literally i've never worn them like yeah like what's good like i can have no explanation for that one i also got this some years back i also got this some years back uh, i don't know uh, i don't two three years i've not worn them anywhere but i've used them for shoots like it's so crazy because i buy shoes and then i don't wear them and i'm like oh let me just use them for shoots so I use them for shoots either wear them or model wears them like that's the trend now these ones are not mine these ones are my cousins so i'll just put them there okay let me show you guys the stamp these, these are also my cousins it's like my blue ones so this is the green ones she has also never worn them. Hmm. So let me. Okay, I got this boots. Eh? So I got them in. Okay, it's about at about three years ago, I think. I really, really was looking for like some thigh high boots. I got this, but let me tell you, the quality was so horrible because I wore them once and like this whole thing like this whole thing came out and i got them for around i don't know it was around three thousand five hundred or four thousand i don't remember so like the quality is super it was it's bad like it was terrible so i wore them once and like well, and like they broke while i was wearing them you see here i put super glue here and they <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna fix these ones because I've only I wore them once like a couple of years ago. Now I just use them for shoots if I need to, but I don't wear them because the quality was so terrible. Considering the price, like that was such a this was such a bad decision. Like, this was this was a bad decision, and they were so, actually they were extremely big, so I had to go to a fundi to put like elastic here so that it doesn't come down like these thigh high boots but they were everywhere i don't know if they're still everywhere right now but they're everywhere at that time okay let me show another book so this is another this is another one i got some years back two years back i think two years back so actually it's good quality because i want them to be honest i've worn them once once it's really good quality it's still like really nice still very new 
but I got bored again with them and I just I just got bored and I never wore them on wore them again but yeah but they're still nice yeah I think they're still nice they're flat and I, I, the other ones I have like the really thigh high flat boots those ones I love them like, like that's actually when I was I wanted to buy thigh high boots like that is what I had in mind but this is what was in the market so I just got this and I got bored with this so wore them once and I was like ah, I'm not really interested again in wearing them let's go to the uh, this ones they're called gladiators I think they're still called, they're called gladiators <laughs> yeah I got them in this one I got them this 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 shop is around globe globe roundabout this is guy who sells shoes I actually really like them I just don't I really wear them I've worn them a couple of times I got them like two years ago oh, but I was wearing, buying shoes two years ago yeah so I like them I just need to find things to wear it with because when I got them it was specific for this specific dress and nowadays I just don't wear them I actually don't have any open flat shoes I only have heels and brogues like that's all I have I actually have zero flats this is the only like open you can't even call them flats like, open shoes I have basically let's put them here and then I have this this I've had this since high school literally when I, when I still like when I was still living in Nakuru guys like when I was still living in which was like a while back so I've had this for a very 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 long time and they're mtumba so I, I really wear them nowadays I don't know I, but it's still like really it's not too bad it's just a kasana honestly considering the like how long I've had them they're actually not terrible and they are very comfortable. I think that's why uh, I've never even thought of throwing them away because they're like super, super comfortable. And then, this I don't even know where the partner is because I do not know. So, this. Let me just raise my, my camera because I'm struggling to even okay so this ones i got this i've had them for over five years like over five years i really like them really like them i just don't wear them as often but i like them and they're still actually in such a good condition considering the fact that i've had them for like over five years <laughs> and then we have this So I really really love these shoes. Like I really love them. I got them, I buy, bought them in backyard. I think it was actually it was like two years ago, bought them in backyard. So I love them. I've worn them once. I honestly can't even explain why I've worn them once and I love them. But I've worn, like I literally they're still new. Two years ago. Still like really new. But I love them. I'm, I'm gonna make a point of wearing them. At least now I have them like out here. So I'm, make, I'm gonna make a point of wearing these shoes because what's the point of buying stuff and you don't wear them? Actually, what, what is wrong with me? Okay, let me just show you guys how they all look. So here is literally everything everything that was like in like underneath under the bed basically under the bed that's, that's everything now, what's, why is my lighting like this i don't know anyway let me i do have other shoes let me show. so i actually do have other pairs of shoes so those ones they're, they're on that side they're the ones which were under the bed which were like hidden for all this time but my my it's called my everyday shoes I wear a brogue so like this 
my my like mirror has like sort of like a shirt underneath like this so brogs are my everyday i have like four pairs of brogs and i bought all these brogs over two years ago i get my brogs from backyard considering like such good quality i've never even taken them to a fundi none of them Con like and i wear them literally like every day so brogs are like huh like I, I just love them and they're comfortable they just they just make things easier for me so these are like I feel like I wear this a lot. I love them. They're very comfortable. So these are the heels I wear like most, more, probably all the time. I don't know why. But I just wear them all the time. I got them, oh, while back, while, while, while back. Like I've not bought like heels for, for within the last, the last, I don't know, the last two years. Two years, I think. Yeah, I don't think I have anything new. Okay, within the last year because I got like some blue heels last year. So within the last yeah i haven't bought like any heels so these are like my favorite because i wear them with anything honestly wear with anything and then i got this some years back never worn them cannot even explain why but i've never worn them and they're so comfortable like i need to fix my life so these are like the ones i got last year i got them from backyard like these shoes are so cute. I've worn them twice, I think. I love them. I love them. I love blue, the color itself. So I love everything blue. So I've worn them like twice. I don't know. I just, I just need to fix my life with how I wear my stuff. And then this, I got them like last week or two weeks ago. I don't remember. So these are like my recent buys. It was such an impulse buy because I went to Mr. Price to look for cargo pants, and then I saw this. I was like, hey need to get one for myself because i don't have like flat shoes like open flat shoes i really don't so i wanted something cute and nice i can just wear like for casual or something yeah so like that's everything in regards to my shoes so let's talk about how i started my fashion brand okay so let's talk about like business be a shara, be a shara. so i'm just gonna make this quick and just like show, tell you guys like how i started my brand epica mm just to give you like a quick history and then i can do another segment on like what to do when you have a fashion brand so i started my brand in 2015 and when i started it in 2015 i wasn't that serious honestly i just i i, I looked for a name because usually in initial it was just epic african jewel it wasn't even epic i just epic african jewel so i used to call my brand epic so when i started i wasn't serious with it i was doing like fabric chokers like small small necklaces beaded necklaces because i just learned it and i was like can i try this can i try this yeah let me try and see so it was back in 2015 and then when i was just basically just starting I, it wasn't even a business in itself i just started like a page a facebook page and an ig page back then while i was still looking for like employment because i didn't i didn't think i would do like fashion like long term so after like a couple of months of doing this, like Epic African Jewelry, I got a job as a receptionist at this school in South Sea. I didn't even last there honestly. I was there for three, three months only. Three, like that was like my first job, like my first eight to five job. And it was a flop. It was, it was not a good experience. So after three months, I resigned. But during those three months, it, it, I think it was a great time for me because it, I was sort of like rethinking on what I want to do with my life and like aligning things, my thoughts. So even during those three months when I was working, I was literally just researching on beadwork, on just designing, everything. That's like, I was literally obsessed. So when I resigned, I knew I'm resigning and I'm going to take this journey of designing and see where, where it goes. And when I resigned, that last month was right, I did not get paid. I was broke when I started my brand. So when I started my brand, I literally had no seed capital. I was starting with like small packets of weed, like, like, like 30 bob, 40 bob, and just making some. I was not making good stuff, by the way. Let's, let me just be honest. My skills were terrible when I, when I was like beginning. So I was just making small stuff, trying to sell. I wasn't really selling. My stuff was not that great. So even like over the years, I've just like learned my skills over time. I've learned from people. I've learned over the internet. 
so i got like super super serious with the business in i think 2017 yeah 2017 that's when i got like really serious and i decided i'm just gonna put my a thousand percent in the business and it was such a challenge because i had no business experience so i've literally been learning on the job all this time and i didn't know how much like sacrifice and dedication and hard work it will take to just like have a fashion but in terms of like the business side because sometimes you're creative you have all these freaking ideas you want to do but when you're on your own and you're starting a business you have to also learn the business side because you're trying to monetize your talent and sort of like just have this pay your bills so it's been like uh, years of like learning gaining my experience and also have to mention when you're starting out especially with a fashion brand you're green and you don't know what you're doing most of the time you will start with just making things you see and that's how people grow on skills and talent you make things you see and then you go go into your own you have to have you have your own ideas you're making your own stuff so that's how i also started because when i was starting out i was making stuff i was seeing in Masai market and growing i started coming to my own coming to my own i guess i can say that coming to my own and having my own ideas and just creating my own stuff so it's been like years of learning and learning my skills experiencing exploring to like where i am today basically there's like a lot more that went into like growing the brand which i can do in like another segment in how to like just the things you need to know when you're growing up a fashion brand but that's just basically how i started it was a rough start but i feel like i made the right decision because i love where i am right now i love the process of designing i love the stuff i'm making and i think i still have a lot more to learn of if obviously i'm like a believer in you always have to be teachable because you don't know what you don't know and you can always learn something from somebody else so the, I've, I've got like a lot of experience over the years and i love the experience i've gotten because i'm here because of the experience i've gotten over the, over the years but i'm gonna do i feel like i'm I can't even breathe i'm talking so fast <laughs> yeah but it, the, there has been a lot more like i put in to grow the business i've met people along the way who've really really helped me in terms of just giving me like the business skills to grow my brand and yeah i'm happy like as with where i am right now like the growth especially within the last two years has been like super amazing and it continued to grow so yeah that's like basically the short story of that was short <laughs> of how i started my brand like yeah i'm gonna do another segment on just like business and the things you need to know i've said that yes i have yeah but that's just how how it goes and guys i hope you enjoyed this video i actually enjoyed doing this i'm only i'm only real, realizing like how much i love content creation like i really love it it's just like even with my vision board like this year my vision about this stuff i've put there like i'm like huh content creation is like one of those because i love creating it's not even just the designing i love like this that's how i started the youtube channel i actually love this process and i'm doing this for myself so i really love content creation i really really love it so yeah let me stop rambling yes and leave you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this and so please do not forget to subscribe comment share let me know what you think yeah and thank you so much guys thank you and i will see you on my next video we started out pretty and daphne so good that it felt like a trap to me the girl in my dream like a fantasy but we've been caught out in reality we reached the pinnacle of apathy